Welcome to another crochet video. In this one I will be teaching you how I did the Pandora's box blanket designed by the crochet crowds Mikey. I found this pattern on Pinterest. I will hopefully be able to link the pattern down below in the description box. So for this particular pattern you need to use variegated self-striping yarn or you can choose to use individual skeins of different colors but the point is you want to use a different color on top here so you want different colors here for this particular blanket I use just the normal size Karen cakes because this is what I had in my stash this one here is rainbow sprinkles and for the border I used Karen simply soft iris so this is my border and even though in the video it appears more like a navy blue, it's actually purple. Depending on the size you want will determine how much yarn you use. This one did use two of the regular size cakes and it's about maybe three feet in, three feet wide. I'm using my J hook six millimeter. This is from Hobby Lobby. It's their yarnology hooks. So we're going to start at the very beginning here in the center. There are a few different ways you can start. If you know how to do a magic circle, I would suggest using that. Or you can start with a chain four and join it to get the center ring here. I'm going to do a magic circle here. So I'm going to move this out of the way so you can see what's going on. Now you'll have to excuse me for being a little awkward with crocheting. Right now I have a bit of a sprained wrist. So if I'm a bit awkward here, that's why. So to do your magic circle, I drape the yarn over my hand like this and then go around just these three fingers and go over the top like this. And I want this yarn that I draped over this way the second time around to be on top towards the wrist. Take my hook underneath the first yarn here and grab that one. I twist around so it's on the hook and then go like that. And that gets your loop going. And now I'm going to start with a chain three because I already have this one here. I only need chain two more. That's one, two. And we're going to start our first group of three double crochets. So this counts as the first, du first double crochet. So we're going to do two more. That's one. And two. And now we're going to make our corner, so chain two. This is Max, who likes to join me. Okay, now we're beginning our next set of three double crochets. And this is all being worked into the circle that we started with. So if you did a chain four and join to begin with, this is all being worked into that one circle. That's our second set. We're going to chain two again for another corner. And we're doing four total of these, so we have two more. You hear a bit of rattling in the background. It's my fan. So that's our third one. We're going to chain two for our next corner. 
This is our last set of three double crochets. Okay, so now we need to chain two. And now, if you did your chain four circle, you can go ahead and start joining. But for those of you that have the magic circle, you need to tighten this up a bit. So you take your end of your yarn and pull tight to close that up. And now you're going to find your beginning chain three. And in the top of that third chain, you are going to slip your hook in and join. So this is loop one, two, and three. Okay, so I'm going to find my yarn that's connected to the ball of yarn. Wrap that back around my fingers. And now I'm going to loop around that, hook it, and pull it through the loop. And then I'm going to slip through here and close with a slip stitch. So there we go. That's our beginning round. Now this is where it's going to sound weird considering you're using a cake yarn that changes color automatically. But you're going to actually go through and tie off. And of course I forgot to bring my scissors. Okay, so we're going to trim off here. And you go ahead and pull through and pull tight. Now, if you want to, you can use two different cakes. Or, if you have the original cake and it's not all balled up like this, you pull from the opposite way you started it. So you can either start from the center and do this, or you can start from the outer edge and do this. And then when you go to the second round, you pull from the opposite. I am reusing a cake that I was doing something else with. And so I'm using two separate ones. I'm just making sure that the colors I start with are not the same. And this one would have been pulled from the center. No, the outside. And this one pulls from the center. I just have much of it wrapped around here. So with a separate color, different color than what you have here, you want to start your next round. In this case, I am starting with red. So in a corner, you want to tie on your second color. Okay, so once you're tied on, you want to do a single crochet. So to do that, you end up having to do a chain one, and then you can do your single crochet. Okay, and now you are going to chain three. One, two, and three. And then you're going to single crochet back in that same spot. Okay. And now you get to chain three again. And then single crochet into the next corner. And chain three. And single crochet again into that same corner. Okay, chain three. Single crochet. Chain three. Single crochet in the same corner. 
Need a little bit more yarn here. And then chain three and go into your last corner and single crochet, chain three, single crochet in the same corner, and now you get a chain three again, and you're going to join in the top of your beginning single crochet. Okay, now you're going to tie off. Okay. Now you're going back to the first color yarn you started with, in my case it's blue, and I'm joining in a corner, start with a chain three to begin your first set of three double crochets. Remember remember that first chain three counts as your first double crochet. Okay, so that's your first chain three. Counts as your first double crochet. There's your second and your third. Now we're in a corner, so we're going to chain two, and then we're going to do three more double crochets in the same corner. So one, two, and three. Now we're going to go and work three double crochets in this chain three space. You do not chain in between. So you go immediately into another double crochet. And we're going to work into the corner. So remember, you don't chain in between these sets of three double crochets. The only place you chain is in the corner. One, two, and three. Now we're going to chain two to make our corner, and then three more double crochets into this corner here. So that's our corner. Now we're going to work into this chain three space. And then this corner here. Three double crochets. This is a lot like a granny square blanket. So if you knew, if you know how to do that, you can do, definitely be able to do. If you know how to do a granny square blanket, you can definitely do this. Sorry, the camera shook there. My cat walked by it. Okay. 
Okay. Now we have another side. And this here is where we tied off the previous round. So I'm actually going to fold that over and work around that as well to help secure that end. If you don't want to, you don't have to. You can simply use your darning needle when you're completed, blanket, and sew in all your ends. I still have to do that on the blanket I showed you at the beginning. Okay, we're down to our last corner. That's one and two and three. Chain two for your last corner. Last three double crochets into the corner. Now we're going to do our last three double crochets of this round into this chain three space. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and join with a slip stitch into the top of our first beginning in chain three. Okay, now we're going to Yarn through that, and we're going to cut off. And then we're going to go back to our second color of yarn and start our next round. Okay, sorry for the bit of the skip in the video. My battery died and I had to recharge it. So now that we're back, you t need to tie on your second color of yarn into a corner space. It can be any of the corners that you want. And we're going to single crochet, so we're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through that loop to create a chain one. And then we're going to stick our hook into the corner and pull through and then complete a single crochet. Now we're going to chain three and single crochet into the same corner space. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Now this is where the pattern changes a bit from what we did before. Instead of doing a single crochet around here, we're going to do an extended single crochet down into this one here. So, you start out as normal, and you stick your hook into the, into the stitch you want. And now you're going to hook your yarn and pull through. You want to keep this loose though, because if you go too tight, your yarn will pull this row down and squish it, and you don't want that to happen. So you keep it loose and pull through like you would normally. So you have this extended single crochet over your blue, or your, in my case the blue, in your case whatever color you have as your double crochet round. So now you're going to chain three and you're going to do another extended crochet into this single crochet here. So you stick your hook into the stitch and pull through and you extend up 
you want to just pull it up a bit and continue through like you would a normal single crochet but don't pull it tight leave it loose now you're going to chain three again and you're going to single crochet into the corner now because you're going into the corner these are not extended these are just your normal single crochets and chain three for your corner and a normal single crochet into that corner chain three one two and three and you're going to do your extended single crochet into this one here just like that and then chain three again and your next extended crochet, single crochet just like that and then single excuse me chain three one two and three and then single crochet into your corner chain three single crochet and then chain three and extended single crochet into your next stitch here and then chain three extended single crochet chain three regular single crochet into the corner chain three regular single crochet chain three extended single crochet chain three extended single crochet chain three And then you're going to join into your beginning single crochet with a slip stitch and you're going to tie off and there you go so you will continue this by continuing doing three double crochets into each of these chain three spaces in the corner you will do three double crochets chain two three double crochets into the corner and you continue around for the color that comes down you continue on with you start with your single crochet into a corner you chain three single crochet and then into the top of each of these you do a s extended single crochet so I'm going to start the next round so that you can see what that looks like I'm not going to have it on camera so because this video is going to be way too long for that but you can see what the next stage looks like okay this is the next round of your double crochets. This, how, this is how it should look where you're still working two sets into the corner with a chain two between. And remember between these sets here there is no chain space. You just go three double crochets directly into another three double crochets. So that's how that part should look. Next I will show you how 
it looks after the next level of single crochet round. Just keep in mind when you're doing that, that in the corner you do your regular single crochets. But on the sides is where you do your extended double crochets. I'll show you that next. Okay, I'm on the last side of this round, so I'm going to do that on camera for you. So I just finished my last corner, which is a single crochet, three chains, a single crochet, chain three to get over to here, the extended single crochet, chain three. Now if you've never crocheted into an extended single crochet, it can be kind of weird looking. So when you pull this apart here, you're going, where, where do I put my hook? It's actually right in here. So here's another look at this one. And it's in here that you want to put your hook. Not up here or over here or in between those. You kind of pull it apart and it's right here after this single strand and before this clump. Okay, and then chain three. And then we're back to a normal single crochet that we're crocheting into. But this, this one stitch here that you're making is still an extended single crochet. And then chain three. And we're back to the beginning. So you join to your first single crochet with a slip stitch. And then you yarn over and pull through. And you pull that completely through to tie off. And that's another round. So that's what that looks like. And you get to see that box looking pattern. I'm going to show you the completed one so you can have a, another look at that. So you can see this is where this one is at currently, just a few rounds out. And you can see if you follow the corners that you have just your normal single crochets in each corner. And then on your sides you have your extended double crochets. And you continue doing this until you make your blanket as big as you want. And depending on if you get the regular size cakes or the larger cakes, you can have this blanket complete this size with probably just one large big cake, but you need two for if you're using the smaller cakes. So that's the end of part one. In part two, I will have gotten this blanket as large as I want and I'll be ready to put on the border and I'll show you how to do a crocodile stitch border. If you don't want that type of border, just continue this as big as you want and you can either end with this on the end on the edges or with your double crochets. I'd probably end with the double crochets because this kind of leaves it to be snagged easily. So I'll see you in part two, which should be up. I'm going to give myself two weeks. So, so this one here is going up on July 11th and part two should be up on July 25th of 2018. Come back next week for a different tutorial. I will be doing the cluster stitch on that one. And then in two weeks, I will have the border, the crocodile stitch border for this particular blanket. See you next week and have a fun time crocheting. Until then, bye.